everyone. So today I'm going to do a collective haul on some items that I got from three stores. Um, it's stuff that I've collected for a while, so it's not like I just bought it. So it's from Claire's uh, Rue 21 and 5 Below. So let's get started. Um. Right here I have some nail polishes that I got from Five Below. They were, I believe, three for a dollar. I had more, but I threw them away as they got older. Um, as you can see, this one's starting to get older or run out. But anyway, um, this is a yellow one, and it's called Explosive. This is a shimmery orange one, and it's called Spandex. This is a fuchsia, a fuchsia one, called fuchsia, and here's a purple one, and I don't know the name. But yeah, pick them up at your local Five Below, and yes, moving along. Uh, Claire's, I went to Claire's a while ago, and I got these, um, these brushes, I believe they're like two a dollar or two dollars. I don't know. I think I got them on sale. But I used this brush for like highlighting and contouring and applying blush. And it's very soft. And it comes with like two other brushes, but I don't know where they are right now. They're somewhere in my brush container. Then I got these brushes and I love these so much. I want to go back and get more. I think I got them on sale. I had this for over a year now. And I mainly use this one right here. I use it for um, concealer. And I use it for eyeshadow. But right now I'm using it for concealer. Then, okay. I want to show you guys um, some eyeshadow palettes that I got from these stores and um, I want to start off with this one this is my favorite probably the best inexpensive eyeshadow palette that I ever purchased ever it was $6.99 I still have the price on it and I lie to you not every time I wear this um, eyeshadow I always always get compliments on that look and if people knew I only spent like $6.99 on those shadows they'd be like yeah right I'm gonna put this down so it won't be shaky okay so I want to show you the inside here it is and it gives you three simple steps on how to apply these and the rest is just improv. You can figure out where you want to put the rest. But once you get the three basic steps on how to achieve this smoky eye kit, then it'll look like a professional did it or something. Um, but yeah. It reminds me of the Urban Decay Book of Shadows. It has some of the similar colors in there. Um, and then if you pull this drawer... It has some utensils, some applicators, but I don't use those because I have my own brushes. So yeah, I got this at Rue 21. Rue 21 is like a clothing store. And they also have like a makeup corner, like a makeup stand, really. Then at Rue 21, I purchased this. Um, it's a liquid eyeshadow and eyeliner book. And it's a liquid when you um, add water to it. So you can pick it up with your brush. This is the color payoff. Let me let you see. Um, yeah, that's the color. Very pigmented. But um, anyway. You can pick it up with your brush and you can wet it. And you can apply it as an eyeliner. Or you can use it as a shadow. And I believe it was like $2.99 or something. But you can go to rue21.com if you don't have a rue21, um, sorry. 
you don't have a Rue 21 in your area, just go to that website and um, they could have their eyeshadows up there and it's a great price. Next, I'm going to talk about um, Claire's. And at Claire's, I like to shop when they have the 10 for 10 sale because that's amazing. I got this Pop Rocks Claire's eyeshadow book. It's a makeup book. And it was originally $10. Then it dropped to $5. Then I got it for a dollar. Um, but here's how it looks like. Comes with a mirror. Comes with different eye looks step by step. Comes with everything here. Lip gloss. Dual lip gloss. Um, I don't know. Here's the lip gloss. This is Duo um, Mascara Eye Pencil Applicator. I have a video tutorial on this look. So if you want to check that out to see how it looks like, you can. But yeah, got this when it was a dollar. Claire's. Then at Claire's I got this. And I found that I paid like full price for it. I think it was like 10 bucks. But then I found out um, they had it at five below for under five dollars and I was sad. But then I found out that I did not like I did not like the glitters because okay, I mean I like them but when you move the glitter over, yeah. Yeah. That's what happens. There's gray underneath. Or like look, okay I'm gonna move the purple. It's like gray underneath. Like they save their stuff by putting gray underneath. Well, it's more of a cream shadow, but it has a gray undertone. Here is all the um, swatches. I mean, it's good. It's good for like Halloween and stuff, but. On top, what I'm trying to say is, on top is glittery. Underneath, it's not like how it is on top. It's like a cream shadow underneath. So once the glitter is gone, before you even hit pan, there's no more glitter. It's just a cream shadow. Like here, I'll show you the swatch of the purple one. It's a cream shadow. So once you move the glitter from the top layer, it's there's no more glitter. It's done. So Okay, here's a good example right here. Let me zoom up. See how the glitter's gone? That's what you're going to be left with. So I don't like that. I thought it was deceiving. Yeah, it's a nice cream shadow underneath, but if I wanted to buy a cream shadow, I would have bought a cream shadow. I was hoping to have a glitter palette. So it made me scared to use it because once I use, scrape off the top layer, all the glitter will be gone. So I had to buy a real glitter palette and I had to get one from Sephora. So that this end up not being anyway. Yeah. So um yeah, Claire's. I got this this grape lip lip gloss from Claire's. It was like a dollar. I like it, but it's hydrating for a second, but then like it will, I'm telling you right now, it will not last all day. You would have to keep applying this over and over and over again. I don't know what it is because, like, the words came off. Because it's, I had it. I, like, kept it in my bag all this time. But it's just the Claire's Grape Lip, lip Product. But, yeah, this won't look like this in an hour. Okay, so next, I got 
this from Five Below. It was under five dollars, and it comes with eyeshadows on this side and um, lip products on this side and a mirror and some applicators. It's extremely pigmented. Let me show you. Here you go. I just um, picked up that color. So for the most part everything is pigmented. So you, you don't have to worry about their shadows not showing up. And then from Five Below, I got this cannabis. I got two cannabises. And, um, yeah, they're different containers and different shadows. The color palette in this one is like a cool mint winter type of theme. And the color palette in this green one is, um... I think it's just random. Kind of reminds me of Halloween, fall. But here it is. And it comes with um, applicators that I don't use. Um, but these are also the type of shadows where when you pick it up with a brush and then you wet it, it shows up very nicely. So people call those baked shadows. But it can be used both ways. Um, gonna pick up this color right here. It's like a forest green. Let me swatch that for you. Very, very pigmented. It was probably like $3.99 at Five Below. And then the purple palette. Um, like I said, it's like a wintry color palette going on here. Lots of blues, lots of cool colors. I'm going to swatch this um, blue one here for you. I don't even think I need to zoom because um, it's so pigmented. Zoom back. Okay. But yeah, like I said, it's $2.92, $3.99. I'm not sure, but it was under $5. So... That's a lot of eyeshadow for under $5. Then at Five Below, I got this. I believe it was $1.99 or $2.99. No. Nope. I'm sorry, um, the camera cut off. But yeah. These two is also by Perfusion. So I don't need to swatch these um, again because they're obviously very pigmented, the company. But um, if you don't have a Five Below near you, you can go to fivebelow.com or you can go to the company's website which is perfusioncosmetics.com yeah so um yeah this is just an, an everyday eyeshadow palette lots of neutral fall looking tones in there everyday tones basically um Definitely do neutral looks with these. And this is small enough to fit in like your makeup bag or anything. But yeah, that's just my Claire's Rue 21 and 5 Below Collective Haul. What I've gathered from those stores. And I'm very pleased with everything except for this. I mean, it's good. I used it during Halloween. But, yeah. Um... But yeah, they have, if you're wondering how those makeup, um, their makeup is, it's good. It's actually by real companies, like, they just happen to sell it in, um, those types of stores. So check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.